Well, well, well. Let's see here. This is the first time I'm going to use the uh, the Nubatama 6K Platinum. And I'm going to use it on my uh, CV Heljestrand uh, Le Prince, which is a uh, stainless razor. So, let's see here. Going to kill the edge on a small piece of Niagara here. Yeah, my my son is playing in the background, so you might hear him. So, let's see. First time ever. This uh, this stone is a bit uh, thirsty. Sadly, I like stones that just splash and go. You need to soak this in water for ah, a minute or two. Yep. Let's see. Smooth feeling actually. Really smooth. Not like the 6K Ume uh, stone, but this feels really good. Actually. And I just flattened this with a Atoma. 140 grit diamond plate. I could go fancy with the uh, 1200 Atoma, but uh, I can't really see the uh, the reason. It's just a 6K uh, stone. Well, you can see on the stone that it's abrasive but how does it look on the edge like you did see I did kill the edge <sighs> and then I grew a stone mm, some kind of semi glossy finish on the edge mm, really nice let's look in the mic microscope Hmm. It it's not as uh, shiny as it is with a 6K Ume stone. I will pick it out so you can see it. It looks just the same, except for the uh, the size. Just rinse it off. I've been using it for kitchen knives and razors and you can see a more grayish white finish uh, on the uh, Ume stone but it's almost the same size approximately one centimeter shorter and uh, approximately one centimeter narrower but this I like a lot this leaves a very glossy finish almost like a mirror but this 6k platinum well the feel is really nice and it leaves like a natural finish on the edge yeah, this razor is not straight so You can see there's not not much swerf from the uh, from the stone itself, mostly from the uh, steel particles swirling around in the water. Hmm. Might be a fun stone to use, but just like the 3K platinum. This is expensive. You can uh, uh, you can expect to pay premium money for this one. 
just a quick glance. This race is a chip color. I don't understand why. Totally madness in chipping with this. being a 6k it's, it's fast <laughs> it, the finish looks uh, just like a natural stone. It's uh, velvety uh, in the uh, in the microscope. Let's uh, switch to the 6K uh, Ume. And you can see the difference. This is just a splash and go. Yeah, almost if we say so. This one feels a lot harder. Uh, way harder, way harder. So the feel in this stone, the Ume, is not as good as it is in the Platinum stone. Here it's just skipping along. You don't get a feel for it. Um, I'll just do a few passes here and then I will check in the microscope and see how the scratch pattern is. <laughs> really mirror uh, on the edge on, and on the spine. Yeah, looks completely black here because of the uh, reflection. Well, hard to say what I prefer, but I will, I will really give this a shot, the, uh, the 6K Platinum Stone, because I promised Ken that I will try it and I will give a feedback to him. And, um, the first feel of it is is good. You can feel this small, small, small resistance when you pull the razor on the on the stone, just like the three three K platinum. You also get a, a slight uh, draw to it. You can you can feel the uh, the stone working on this steel. Really nice. You can hear the difference too. This sound is exactly the same that you have on a 3K platinum also. Yep.
Yeah, funny. That you have synthetic stones that does the same kind of hazy, velvety finish on uh, on a, on the edge, just like a natural stone. I prefer the Japanese stones, but there are many others, and you still get the same velvety uh, finish. As you can see, this is platinum, 6K. So, let's see if I can edit this and uh, see how the details are. Well, thanks, bye.